Welcome to the LFC Transfer Room, here yet again with a red or dead. On my left, Maddie. On my right, Chedu. For the first time, we don't have a defending champion. Richie not able to make it with us this week. He'll join us for the winner of this one. But for the first time, we have two returning players. So, Maddie, how are you feeling ahead of uh, your return to red or dead? I'm feeling more confident. I've, I've figured out how I went wrong last time. I was too like energetic with it. So, I've, I've watched every one and know how to win. He studied some film. He has. Uh, Jed, you studied film as well? Uh, honestly, I mean, I, 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 I should have won last time, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, I, I actually watched uh, my last one last mm -hmm. night preparing for this one just to see how, like, what, where I went wrong. And I think I learned nothing, but I'm pretty sure I'll do better this time. I spoke to you and about that defeat. <laughs> you I mean, I beat both of you, didn't I? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Now I got to choose who wins out of you two. So uh, rules for those who are rejoining, you guys obviously know them, but um, as always, it's going to be for the match against Wolves on Monday. So I'm going to pose a question, a debate topic between the two teams and say, are you going to be red, Liverpool choice, or are you going to be dead? And Chedu will be the first one to choose his side of the debate. And when he chooses, then Maddie will have to argue the opposite side, even if it's a tough argument, he doesn't agree with it. And as always, it's not about which opinion's right, but who makes the better argument in 30 seconds. So, Chedu, as I mentioned already, you won the coin toss, so you get to choose the side of this debate first. We've seen a lot of lovely, lovely content around Nat Phillips after having a great performance, a borderline man of the match performance in his Champions League debut on Wednesday against Leipzig. There's another guy, Liverpool lad, who will be on the other side of things. Connor Cody or Nat Phillips on Monday, who will be the better center back? Are you red, Nat Phillips, or are you dead, Connor Cody? Well, that's a tough one, actually. You know what? I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna say dead. I'm gonna say dead. Wow. I'm gonna say dead. Maddie, that means you get to argue Nat Phillips better than Connor Cody in 30 seconds. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Our first debate of the day starts in three, two, one, go. Speaking about Nat Phillips, he's a kid. He's come into the Liverpool team, who may have the reigning champions of England and cemented the place to the point he could probably stay at the end of the transfer window. Conor Cody's kept 30 clean sheets in his whole career at Wolves. If you put Conor Cody into a back four, I can guarantee he wouldn't have kept even half of that. He is terrible when he plays in the back four. He needs a back five because he needs four players around him to support him. There's a reason Liverpool got rid of him, and there's a reason that Phillips is still at Liverpool. Now Phillips got a new contract and then got loans. Uh, out of support. Ooh, that's a good one for you, Maddie. Good one. First return after a while, bro. Breaking off the the cobwebs a bit. Chedu, you got the you got the option here. So a bit more pressure act sometimes. You have to make your choice. You have to hear the opposition argument. So, Connor Cody better than Nat Phillips. Are you ready? Yep. Three. Two, one, go. Let's be honest. The only reason why Ned Phillips is starting for Liverpool is because there's really no other option. If Cody were in the Liverpool team, he'd probably start over Ned Phillips. Uh, yes, he needs a back five, but that's exactly why he works so well with Wolves. He's so good that that um, they even made him the, the captain. And Ned Phillips, he played for Stuttgart in the second division of Germany. While Cody has been in the Premier League for quite a few years and was in the Championship before, which is way better than the second German division. The player is pure class, and he's even uh, call, he could be called uh, up for the Euros as well. See, uh, isn't Jack Perry more the the age difference? So Conor Cody's actually going. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Your time is up, Maddie. Chill out. Come on. Man, you have to knock you a boy for that. What I what I mentioned, I, I posted. I think this is two now. Um, it's my third one. Um, it's so difficult choosing a winner because. There's not going to be a bad argument. It's just I gotta, and I like you guys, so I have to, I have to fix it. See, I, I usually I can, I can make it, make the frame it as one of you guys bigged up your guy rather than tearing the other one down. But you both just wanted to go in on the opposition, hating on Stuttgart, hating on his ability in the back four. I think very so slightly, I'm going to give the edge to Maddie here. Maddie, it's a one nil edge, but that if if that's a standard of argument, I'm not going to enjoy this video because it's going to be tough to make these 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 choices. So, 
Maddie, now the choice goes to you with the one nil lead. Two Portuguese players, one signed last summer, one currently still playing for Wolves. Who would you rather have? Pedro Neto, 21 year old, or Diogo Yota, 24 year old? <laughs> Bad. That was a pretty confident one. At least I think that that hit was pretty confident. Yeah, very confident. Cheddar, you get to make the argument for the young wonder kid, Pedro Neto. Get a little nervous. You ready? I'm not, but let's go. All right. Arguing by Pedro Neto, you'd rather have him than Diego Yota. In three, two, one, go. Although Diogo Jota has been uh, good at Liverpool, he at time like he at times, especially recently, hasn't been able to do as much because of how bad the team has been. Well, Pedro Neto has been thriving in this in this Wolves team, and again, he has the the uh, the factor that he's also younger. He's also, in my opinion, he's way faster, way more agile than what Diogo Jota is. I think uh, as a left winger, Pedro Neto would be the better option in a Liverpool in in a Liverpool kind of team uh, due to the. Uh, to affect, oh shit! Okay. I, I stuttered a little bit uh, towards the end. I uh, that Ooh. was a stinker. I had a stinker. <laughs> yeah, Shadow, not, it's, not such, too it's so. It's Can so. I, I mean, as soon as you, I, as soon as you said Pedro Neto, I knew that Matty, that Matty was gonna take Jota, and and I knew it was gonna be done after that. But yeah, Matty, please, uh, you have your internet cut out so that you can automatically lose. <laughs> oh, Matty, we can go in for a quick two 0 edge. Hopefully. Dangerous here for, for Cheddar, but he has to make a good argument. Remember, not about right, about the argument. So, Maddie, 30 seconds. Are you ready? Yeah. I'll get you going in three, two, one, go. Speaking of all Pedro and Esso, you said they'd be a, be a better option on the uh, left for Liverpool. He's played 28 games this year and only scored five goals. Comparing that to Jota, he's played 11 games and scored five goals. The reason he hasn't been involved recently is because he's been injured. But Jota has scored five goals in the Premier League and four goals in the Champions League this year. He's revolutionised with pulls from three. Look how much we've missed him while he's been injured. The Neto, five goals in 28 games. I know which one I'd rather pick, to be honest with you. Time. Wow. That was well-timed. That was well-timed. Cheddar, you don't look too confident. I, I know he won. It's, I, 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 I had a stinker of an argument. I can't, I can't defend that. And I am not a man who fixes these. Maddie gets the point. Two nil for the first time ever. There's a two nil lead. But Chedu, you got the choice here, so I'm gonna give you a moment to think about this one. I'm pulling it back. Uh, time for an epic comeback. It will be talked about in history. First man to go out down two zero. First man to come back three two. So got PayPal me. Though. Istanbul. Yeah, do you think of Istanbul? <laughs> <laughs> two right backs will likely be on the bench for each side. One for Liverpool, one for Wolves. One used to play for Liverpool last season and was sold to try and find the transfers of Diego Iota and Thiago Alcantara. Who would you rather have? Miko Williams or Key Jana Hoover? Now, I'm not saying you would have had to sold one last summer who might have been at the loss of a signing because he would not have got as much money. That's the caveat. Miko Williams and potentially losing Thiago or Iota or Key Jana Hoover and you have both. Are you ready? Um. Or Nico Williams. Uh, red, red is Nico Williams, right? Red is Nico Williams. Okay, I read, read all the way. Okay. So, Maddie, arguing my key, John Hoover, is a better option to keep than Nico Williams. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look confident at all with that. You can do it. I had a good argument as well for if you would have said. I thought you would have said there. Uh, I will to be honest. Very well. One of them. We go again. So, anyway, just to clarify, uh, Chetty, you're choosing to argue Nico Williams in the two signings, correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, Hoover, for you, Maddie, is your argument. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, go. The reason that, however, got sold to fund these moves is because he had a higher price tag than Nico Williams, which means he's worth more in this country than Nico Williams. However, he's actually played eight games for Wolves, and they've got Nelson Semedo. Like, he's getting in the Wolves team in the Premier League. Nico Williams, every time he's played for Liverpool, has been criticised. He has been so poor. 
granted he's played for Wales, but I think even I could get a game for Wales, to be honest with you. He's Kijana, however, is a very highly sought after Dutch international, and I, feel, I strongly believe. I do. I'm ready to say it, but it's do or die time for you. All right. You just have got to it. We'll go all five, but it'll be demoralizing if you're down 3 0 and there's no chance of coming back. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Price tags don't really tell the whole story because Curtis Jones isn't valued at that at that much. But let's be honest, he's one of the better youngsters in the league. Not only that, but there's a reason why Nico stayed and, and Hoover left. It's not only because of the money, but because of the potential. Whenever uh, Nico Williams has played in the Champions League, in the Premier League, and Hoover was never even close to getting into the team. So I'd rather get someone that can consistently be the number two for a team that is in the Champions League rather than someone that had to be sold and can't even play at Wolves. And, yeah, that's right. about it. He has played that once. <laughs> oh. I meant I, I meant to say start, which I think he hasn't. But you know what? It's it's fine. Jack, listen. You know, this is bribing time. If you <laughs> let me win, I will I will give you my most prized possession, the star player Mo Salah. Oh, look, look. I, I know you want that. I do want that, but I, I do not take bribes, unfortunately, on this show. Oh, I'm going to give Chedu the point. That's a bit for the content. But I do think he had a pretty good argument. And, and Matt, he didn't have to tear down the entire country of Wales to try and get the point. That was a bit... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to talk about Wales, too. I was I was going to talk about that, but yeah. I, 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 I got the I point. I mean, said they, they aren't that good, are they, really? <laughs> yeah. Great, but international caps are international. I should I should like Wales, considering my ancestors are from there. i got a mountain named after me and now he's there. But... Oh, so, wow. Fun facts. All right, question number four. Still, Chedu, it's match point. You got, you got to come back. But this time it's Maddie's choice. You're going to have to argue the opposite. You're going to argue first as well. So, this one's going to kind of tee up the next question a little bit. But in the last 13 Premier League matches, Liverpool will have scored just one first half goal. Wolves in there in the last nine Premier League matches have scored only one first half goal as well. They're the lowest scoring teams in the Premier League since January um, in the first half. So, Matty, who will score in the first half at the Molyneux? Will it be Liverpool red or will it be Wolves dead? Uh, red. He's going to go with his. He'll try and win it on a red. So, Chetty, arguing why Wolves will score in the first half. You ready? Kind of. I, I don't know. <laughs> sure. Sure, sure, sure. It's elimination time, Chedu. You gotta come out with the point if you want to stay in this. You're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Liverpool's form in the Premier League has been absolutely abysmal. I can't remember the last time we actually scored a first half goal. Uh, and the players are tired from playing in the Champions League, especially all the stars, since we have to play, so you have to play our strongest team back then. Wolves, they have been rested. And they're and and they're more than ready to go out and get the goal with the with the quality of players they have in midfield, defense, and attack. I'm pretty sure they're going to get the first goal in the first 20 minutes, probably. And Liverpool are going to have to come back from that later on. Uh, I I can I can see Pedro Neto himself scoring. Tying it back to an, a previous debate. Matty, how you feeling? Ready for the kill? Yeah, I'm feeling good. You chose red. Now argue for your boys. 30 seconds on why Liverpool will score first in the first half. Okay. Three, two, one, go. You said you can't remember the last time Liverpool scored first in the first half. I'll just take you back to the first in the away fit form. We scored first in the first half and it was actually Roberto Firmino against Tottenham when we battered them 3-1. Liverpool are notoriously better away from home. Wolves have only scored 28 goals all season, and you think they're going to score in the first half. Liverpool have actually scored 47 goals this season. Joss is back. Joss has got a point to prove, saying to Wolves, why did you sell me? He's, I reckon Liverpool will win the game in the first half against Wolves. It won't be a matter of one goal. It'll be a matter of three. You know, had I... had I, Because uh, I, 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 after hearing Matt, Matty's argument, I can I have some good points, but nothing, nothing I can do now. Except uh, PayPal Jack a few hundred dollars. (laughs) 
Why do you guys have to be good at this? Why can't one of you just be a stinker? Why couldn't Maddie just start stuttering for the last 30 seconds? Make his good. Oh. Come on, Jack. First three one in history. No three things to do. It's I not a case of me trying to solely make the content. It's a case of I, it was actually two great arguments. I, I do have a slight concession. Uh, it's it's. I always go back and forth in my mind. Should I make considerations that it wasn't Chedu's choice of argument? He had to go first, and Maddie got time to make a little Google for the Premier League table stats for for Wolves. Like, does that does that come into account? But I think as much as that salad card entices me. For the first time, there's going to be a 3 1. It is. You've been defeated in the fourth round, but we'll do a fifth round anyways because we like talking and I enjoy your guys' company. I like number four. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a 4 1, I'm just going to retire from red or dead. <laughs> That's what you got to fight, fight for. Yeah, yeah just, no, just no, not lose that badly. 3 2 isn't bad. It's how you lose usually. So four, two, four one is. I just I just have to win this one. Usually, usually we have a coin toss. I'm actually gonna forego that. I'm gonna give Chedu the choice. So Chedu, there's Thank a lot you. of pressure on you now. You, you don't want to get bottled. You don't want to get battered four one. <laughs> this is a pretty. You'll you'll know the question already. So, who will win on Monday? Will it be Red Liverpool or will it be Dead Wolves? Red. Maddie, you get to argue why Wolves will win at the Molyneux to try and get that fourth point. So how how savage is he gonna go to try and get that first point? Maddie, just don't say nothing. Just give me just give me the point. <laughs> Are you ready, Maddie? Oh, I'm ready. Thirty seconds. In three, two, one, go. Well, Liverpool will not win against Wolves because I honestly believe Liverpool are going all out for the Champions League. We've seen the lineup against Fulham. Now Fulham are a miles better team, a miles worse team, sorry, than Wolves. Wolves are fast, they're energetic, good style of play. They're gonna come at us. And I honestly do you really think Nat Phillips and Kabach can stop Adama Traore for pace. Easy. Wolves are gonna absolutely destroy Liverpool and it's gonna be a seventh straight loss. Right. You know what? I'm sort of feeling confident, so let's just hope. I can pull it back. Is that a case? A little of, bit. Is that a case of the pressure being off now that the defeat's already in, or is that a case? Yeah. Of the yeah, it's 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 definitely that. Now I'm just now I'm just playing for pride. It's it's not to win. <laughs> Thirty seconds, Cheddar. You got the choice. Argue for your boys why they will win on Monday. You ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. Easy. Why will why will we win on Monday? One word, Fabinho. Now that it's been proven that we can play uh, Quebec and Phillips at the back, Fabinho's going to go back to midfield. And just like in the Leipzig game, he's going to let Thiago get further ahead and play better than he has been playing the entire season. Uh, now, uh, now, Wolves are a really attacking team, which means they're going to want to score. And Adama Traore, when was the last time he, he scored or assisted? It's been ages since he's done that. He's, he does not make me feel afraid even a little bit. I think that we're going to destroy the game in God. midfield and attack. Come on, man. It's always hard to pick this because I hear one guy slandering my guys. I hear him say, <laughs> doesn't believe in Kabak. I believe those guys. I love those guys. For the record, I think we'd probably destroy Wolves, but it's a game. There you go. That, that gives me the point. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it will be a mixture of feelings for you, Chedu. I'm going to give you the point and say that your best argument was the one that you had after there was no nothing left to fight for. You know what? At least it's not 4-1. At least I can go home knowing that I, that I barely lost. Yeah. You said go home as in... Leave the, the stream yard. Yeah, leave, leave, leave the stream yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Go, go there. Well, Maddie, officially 3 2 champion of this one against Wolves. Congratulations. How do you feel? I'm excited, but I'm also nervous because I've seen how good Richie is and I don't know how long the crown's going to last. Oh, that, what a preview for the next one. It'll be a for the record. Show. For, ahead, for, for the for, for the record, I, 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 I do hope them, that uh, th that Richie beats you 5 5 0. <laughs> <laughs> and I like I like the hate Jack had it when uh, when he beat you. So 
Jack Fry. <laughs> Alpha. Yeah. Richie yeah. is going to be my record of three uh, wins on the, the bounce, but wasn't able to join us today, unfortunately, but forever with us, Red or Dead Legend. He will be back to face Maddie. First time that we'll have two champions facing off um, from their last appearances. But Chedu, Thank you, you have two defeats, my friend, but you're not bad at this. You just lost two of them. It's okay. I still love you. Last words from you boys before we get out of here. Chedu, how you feel? Um, I was gonna say disappointed, but I'm actually, you know, I'm just happy that I didn't lose for one. Honestly, it's it's fine. But you know, it, because you were such a good sport, I'm still gonna give you my most solid card. Oh. No, just <laughs> kidding. You didn't let me win. You aren't, you aren't getting anything. <laughs> That's fair. And I am an impartial judge upon the opinions and the debates of you guys. So this has been a, a fun time as always for you guys um thank you both for your time on this saturday morning morning here in the states obviously afternoon maybe where you guys are at but it will be maddie versus richie in the next one uh, we'll have some pre-match post-match content for the wolves match as well on monday um, and some content throughout the international break to keep you satiated while we wait for more Liverpool football but for myself jack for chedu to my right maddie to my left this has been some more content from the lfc transfer room make sure to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one Take care.